Hello. Hi, Mario. How you doing? Good. Cool. And you? Cool. Okay. So, did the outcome? Are you happy with the outcome today? Argentina, huh? No, no. France. France. Yeah, they play Argentina on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should should be a good final. game, huh? Should be a good and game, then, huh? Yeah, on Chavez it will be. Yeah, Morocco against Croatia for the third place. Yeah, big deal. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. you know what? You can see, see it's the third best in for, the world, right? For right. them. Yeah. For uh, not for Croatia, but for Morocco, it's a big yeah. deal. Yeah, if they get third in the world, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, right. Who knows? Maybe they'll win over Croatia. I doubt it. Really? Yeah. Croatia's that good. Croatia's good. Yeah. Now today, today the Moroccan team, they missed yeah. at least two goals that are almost impossible to miss. Really? And that would have changed the whole game. Uh -huh. Because they could have gone to penalty. I mean, France. Uh -huh. What France did, they did the first goal after five minutes of the game starting. Oh, that's that's unheard of. Yeah, uh, that's like a big damper, you know. Uh -huh. You're playing already losing at, after five minutes. It's hard to hard to catch up. Yeah. It's not like American football, you know? It's tough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. No. He didn't finish 48 completely, right? Uh, yeah, we had, Matt, we're 49 now, Mishnah. I know, but I thought they didn't finish completely. That was yesterday, the day before we waited a few, but yesterday we finished to the bottom, as far as I know. But he didn't say a hadron. Oh, yeah, I guess under his breath he said it. Hadron, did he say hadron? Yeah, I think so, under his breath, yeah. Oh, okay. He was anxious to get started because he had the shear last night, you know, the, the other one. The Surava. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Alter. Oh, it's come and gone. Did you watch the game today? I didn't watch it. No, my guys were telling me. My guys were telling me I, I didn't I didn't do anything. You know, I didn't watch it. It was a nice uh, game. That's good. That's all. That's the main thing. Now Sunday is the final. It's very early at seven it's in the morning. Seven o'clock. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see the men between the boys. Who's going to go to shore? Who's not going to go to shore? Right. Huh? <laughs> We'll see who's going to go to Shul Sunday morning. Not too many people who like soccer. Oh, no? Okay. Yeah. Are you in bed already? I'm Kenny. No, I'm cold. I'm on the couch. Why don't you put the heating on, you cheapo? Good, Good point.
I should do that. Oh. All right, chapter six. Yes, I know that I mean I'm a show I'm a Oh. Good evening, Hello. everyone. Good evening, Dr. Ernie, Ernie, Ernie. Yes. You're here. <laughs> You're having a bad hair day? I guess I, my hair is too long. I have to get a haircut, but I'm waiting. I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're on Memtes Summit all of 49. I know you have a bushel. If you say I'm taking an editor not to eat things that are cooked, mutter bitsli. You're allowed to eat something roasted. Uve shaluk. Shaluk means it's soaked. Omar konim tavshil she'eni toyim. I'm not going to taste the tavshil. A tavshil is like a cooked dish. Oser b'maisa k'day rach. You would be forbidden to eat some kind of soft dish that was made in a pan, but mutter ba'ava, but you would be permitted in something thick. Because that wouldn't be called the top shil. Umutter be'beitza turmuta. You'd be allowed to eat a certain type of egg dish. Uve delasa ramutza and like uh, zucchini. These are also not called tafshilim. So since you made a net against the tafshil, these don't classify as a tafshil. Hanoidim emaisa kadeira. If you make a nether, I'm not going to eat something cooked in a pan. Ain osrel memaisa retachto. You're going to be prohibited eat, to eat something that is cooked in a hot pan. It says here extensive boiling. So that was that include a hard boiled egg? Well whatever Beitza Termuta is, um Gamora will explain that it was it soaked for a long time in water. Mm. A thousand times. And then in cold water. So some kind of delicacy. Avalim Omar mm-hmm. Anything that goes into a pan, then Osir, Bekholam is Pashin and Bikdeir, anything that's cooked in a pan would be prohibited. Tanya Rabbi Shia Oyser. Even Rabbi Oyser, Rabbi Shia argues with the Mishnah. And says that if you make a nether against Mavushal, you'd be prohibited to eat roasted as well. That in Divrei Ayami, when they talk about that they, that they after they came back with Ezra, they ate the Korban Pesach, that we know the Korban Pesach has to be roasted, sleep, but they referred to it as Vayivashlu. So Rabbi Yoshia holds since 
in Tanakh, it refers in some place to Tzli as Bishul, then even Tzli would be prohibited if you were Noi Dimena Mavushul. Lema Bahaka Miflugi. Let us say that uh, we argue in the following. Rabbi Yeshua Savar Halakach Arlashan Toira. Rabbi Yeshua, when it comes to the Dorim, goes after language that is determined by the Torah. The Tana Dilon Savar, the Dorim, Halakach Arlashan Deyotam. But our Tana goes after normal human speech. What do, when you say cook, does it include roast? The Gemara says low. Everybody holds up with the dorm. You go after normal common usage. The only difference, Mark Yasser, Mark Yasser, each one in their own neighborhood, in one person's neighborhood, they called Sli Bishul, and the other they didn't. In the town of our Mishnah, does not mix the two up. The word roast would, if you say, I'm going to cook something, it would include the concept of roasting it. Afraid to Gemara, how can you say it has to do with what their use in their neighborhood? He brought a posuk. The Gemara answers, yeah, but that's not the real reason. He brought that as a, as a proof, but not as the real reason. Koinim Tavshul, if we said he's allowed to per, eat something that's made in a pan that's very thick. Why should he be allowed? Anything that's you that you accompany with a piece of bread, Tavshul Karule. But if it, if you don't eat a bread with it, it's not called a Tavshul. I'll prove to you. If you make an enter against Tavshul, you can't eat different cooked dishes. You're prohibited in roasted, prolonged cooking, cooking with water. Uh, you're in these soft zucchinis that the sick people eat their bread with. So we see that when you eat your bread with, it's called a tafsha. Where's the Zaini? Rabbi Yirmi Cholash. Rabbi Yirmi got sick. A doctor came to heal him. He saw that there was a pumpkin or, or some kind of gourd hanging in the house. So he he left. There's a Malach Amavis here. He said, I'm going to go in to heal him. So we see before you mention that they would feed sick people this type of food. And this doctor calls it a Malach Amavis. So what is it? Habashuni. If it's soft, they're good for sick people. If they're hard, they're bad. Rava bar ulo amar habe kara gufe, vahabe gave de kara. The gourd itself is bad for the body. That which is inside is good. Dhamra vida luliva de kara basilka. The heart of a gourd is good to eat it with cabbage. Luliva de kitna bekutnach. The heart of a of a of I guess a flax plant is good to eat it with mayonnaise. However, doves are also learned with neyama aretz. You shouldn't say in front of an unlearned person because they'll pull out the flax to eat. And we need we need the flax plant to make linen. Rav Amar Mai Choylin. When we say before that gourd or zucchini is good for sick people, we meant chachami. 
Rabban, who in general are weak because they're learning Torah so much, but they're not really sick. Therefore, they can eat this gourd. But if somebody was sick, they couldn't eat it. Rava tamei de amar Rava, keman matzlinan al ktsiri v'amriin. Every day we daven for sick people, like who? Rav Yosi. Because Rav Yosi holds that we are judged every day, not just on Rosh Hashanah. Since it mentioned people who are mamish sick and sufferers, that's really sick people. Mrei are the rabbonon. Umuter If you take a net there against the tafshil, you're allowed to eat a thick tafshil. But masnisa de lo kebavloi. Our mission is not like the Babylonians. Dharm Rav Zera, Bavloi Tipshoi, the foolish Babylonians, the Achli Lachma Balachma, they dip their bread in bread because this thick tafshil is like oatmeal, right? And they're eating like bread with oatmeal. So they ate it. So if they made a net there against the tafshil, the tafshil ave would be prohibited for them as well. Because we said anything that you dip your bread in is considered a tafshil. Amrav Chizda, the mashal on lalein nagdani de hutzel. They asked the very picky, finicky people of hutzel, adain dasa heichan mali lemichlo. This like oatmeal or farina. How, what's the best way to prepare it? The chiti belachmi the chiti, with the sari belachmi the sari. If you're eating like oatmeal made out of wheats, you use, you, you use wheat bread. And if you're going to do barley, you do barley bread. Or maybe you cross pollinate. Dilma the chiti with the sari. Maybe you dip. Barley bread in the wheat, with the sari bedachit, and vice versa. Rava achle bechsisi. He would eat them with the uh, parched kernels of barley. Rabbi Ravuna ashka chel Ravuna de koachel daisa beds boisa. He would eat this grain dish with his fingers, not with a fork. Why do you eat with your hands? It tastes better if you eat it that way. With two fingers. And three fingers. Rav said to his son, If you're invited to eat this dish called Daisa, you should go ad parsa. You can even three miles. If they invite you to eat lemechel bisur de Torah, ox meat, you can travel even three parses, ad plus a parsi. Armele Rav Chia Bray. Rav said to his son Chia, Chain Armele Ravuna, the Rabba Bray. Ravuna said to his son Rabba, Kol Medim Lo Tiflit Kamei. Rabcha. Don't throw these things out in front of your Rebbe. Or don't spit in front of your Rebbe. Because it's a bizoyon to your Rebbe. Lebarmin Kravidais, except for, for zucchini and this oatmeal thing. Because you can spit it out because if they, because when they're not digested, they sit in your intestines like lead. And you can spit up even Even if before the Persian king Shvormaka could spit it out. Because it's a health reason. It's dangerous. Rav Yosef Rav Yudah Chadachal Daisa 
One of them ate this oatmeal dish with his fingers. V'chad achel b'hutza. The other one ate with a fork. Armali the achel b'hutza with the achel b'etzma. So you were eating with a fork. Why don't you eat with your fingers? Because the guy said, how could I eat with your fingers? You have a dirty fingernails. It's like putting dung in the food. The person who ate with his fingers asked the person who ate with the fork, because they had a communal dish. So he kept on putting his fork in the communal dish putting it in his mouth and putting it back in the communal dish. He said, how long are you going to put your germs from your saliva into this communal dish? They brought them some kind of figs. Rabbi Rabbi ate, Rabbi did not. my time Rabbi asked Rabbi Shimon why he didn't eat it. On Rabbi Shimon, elu en yotzim and they may ain kolikur. They're not digested well. They'll stay in your intestine. On Rabbi Yehuda, kol shekain shenis machalei lamocha. That's good. It'll be in our intestines tomorrow, so we'll be able to have nourishment for tomorrow. We won't feel hungry tomorrow. So Rabbi Yehuda saw that as a good thing. Rabbi Yehuda of Yosef Kamei Rav Tarfin. Rav Yudu was sitting in front of Rav Tarfin. Armele Rav Tarfin. Hayom panecha tzuhuvin. Your face looks red and rosy. Armele, emesh yotzu avadecha. Lissade. We went this morning into the field. Ve'eviolanu tradin. They brought either cabbage or watercress. Ve'achanun blo melach. We ate it without salt. It's, and it makes us look ruddy. We ate him with salt, we would have looked even better. A certain non-Jewish woman said to Rav Yehuda, he, he looked reddish complexion that, that she thought she was he was drunk. So this Roman matron asked Rabbi, how can you pass in shalos while you're drunk? I'm very trustworthy. I don't, I'm not an alcoholic. The only wine I drink is wine for Kiddush on Shabbos, Abdullah, and four coins of Pesach. And after I drink these little things, I'd like a headache from Pesach to Shavuos. So you don't have to worry that I'm drunk. So why are my why is my face ruddy? It's the wisdom of the Torah. A certain heretic said the Rav Yehuda, Panecha Domim. Your face, it looks oska fresen. Either you're lending out money with interest or you're raising pigs. Because that's very profitable. And that's probably why you've got this big fatty face. He told the, the, the heretic, among the Jews, both of these professions are prohibited. Ella, why do, do I have a nice looking face? Esrim v'arba beis hakisei islei min beis ha'bem midrasha. There are 24 bathrooms from my house till the yeshiva. V'kol shah v'shah ni nichlas v'kolecha v'achad. I go to every bathroom. I mean, I don't hold my, my waist in. I go all the time. And I guess that leads to a good complexion. Rav Yudah Kanazel Bey Midrash. When Rav Yudah would go to the yeshiva, Shakil Gulfe Al Katfe, he would take like a, a jug of water on his shoulder. And he, he would also sit on it. 
And he would say, This extra exercise I'm doing, and it allows me to sit the covet in the yeshiva, so I have a chair. Similarly, Rav Shimon Shakal Tzin al Katfe, he would always have a basket on his shoulder. He would also say, the wife of Rabbi went to the market. She plucked wool of the gleam of the hutvi, and she made a thick sweater. And when she would go to the market, she would cover herself with that. And also, I guess she made something for Rabbi that when he would go dove, and he would also wear this sweater. And gives him warmth. And he would make a bracha of a baruch shat teni me'il. He, he would make a special bracha that, that the coat was so warm. Zim the chadah goz Rav Shemek Amliel tanisa. Rav Shemek Amliel was gozer tainis. Rav Yudah lo'asal be tanisa. And Rav Yudah did not show up. Armin in lane, they told Rav Shemek Amliel that Yisle Kisui. He didn't come because he doesn't have a, a garment to clothe himself with. Shadu lay glima. Rav Gabriel sent him a coat, but the velo kibble. But he didn't accept it. We'll continue tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, well, tomorrow is a wedding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Eisenberg. Yeah, now.